break Ready for wine talk. Give us like 10 minutes. Don't take no time on it. 10 minutes. Did you say, uh, no limit. Got that masterpiece. No limit, baby. Hi, my name is Marilyn Monroe. And I'm Sean Queese. And we hope you're ready for her Wine Talk Wednesday. Like Kia said, opposites attract and we are completely different from one another. So today we're going to be testing our friendship. How different are we? So Kia's going to go first and ask me questions. Right yeah. now? I need more time. Wait till this go off. Go. So... If you give me the ox cord, what am I going to play? Jill Scott. You don't know me, how. So, if I give you the ox cord, what would I play? Everybody knows you're going to play Nook if you book. Hi! It's not even special anymore. I called you crying over a guy, which will never happen. What guy would I be crying over? Who broke my heart? She's done, she's done that before. Uh, Future. Who would I cry over? Say something crazy so I can smack the shit out of you. Do it. We were somewhere in public and we saw something inappropriate. Which one of us would pull out their phone and start snapping? Me. I record everything. Head team. If I could let any celebrity shoot my club up, who would it be? Future, but he don't pay his child support. Wicked, wicked. Oh my God. That was so weird. I, which celebrity would I let shoot my Trey club Trey Songz. No lie. Right now. Where he at? Somebody DM me her own his number real quick. So if a dude texts you W Y D, how would you respond? How would you respond? Response would be no response. I would not respond to a dude who hit me with W Y D. No. Mm -mm. Uh, if a guy hit you with W Y D, how would you respond? I would just be like, nothing I'm chilling, W Y D. <laughs> hit him back with the Say you and your dude have been talking for a minute or whatever, and he hits you with the I love you first. How would you react? Huh. If I loved him, I would say I love you too. That's common sense. If I didn't, I would just be like, thank you. What would I you think say? even if I loved him, I probably wouldn't say it back. Have you ever I'm had just... a guy say they loved you? Yeah, I have. Bitch. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is. Sometimes I let my pride get in the way. So even if I felt it, I don't know if I would like just say it right off the bat. I'd probably call him and be like, hey, did you mean to send me that? Don't, like, look. When I ask you that, this question, like, don't be funny. Don't be, don't be funny. For real. This is a serious question. Okay. Serious. Okay, cool. That's my favorite sex position. <laughs> Talk about the end for good if she asks me another question like that. I was just kidding. We had to do wine talk after dark for the grown-ups one day. You I don't want to be a part it, of, of it. Course. Okay. If you won the lottery, who are the first three people you would call? My mom. Okay, my mom. Sally Mae. And probably my dad. Like, I went to my friends. Her mom, her dad, and me. That's what she meant to say, right? That's what I meant, yeah. My bad. Mom, why were your favorite slushes? We don't drink that much. We don't drink much. Y'all drink every week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play off your question earlier. If I, if you call me crying, what would be my advice to you? A little more level-headed and mature than I am, you would probably be like... I'm sure he didn't mean it that way. Just wait a few days and call him and y'all just need to talk. Hey, I will agree with that. Unless you done told me some crazy stuff he done did. Then I'm not going to say that. I'm just going to be like, well, Sean please, just got to leave him alone, man. Leave that. Because Kia always be taken up for, like, the opposite person. I can tell her I literally got can in a you fight wait? with somebody. And she can was like, up for them. I'm can like, I, what about me? Can you, can you? My advice be to you if you call me crying about a dude. Her advice is going to be a little bit different. A little bit different. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> Kia? No, you'll just be like, honestly, Kia, you deserve better than that. Like, don't even think about him. You, you, you just need to move on and forget about him. 
I'm sure she needs somebody to keep her level headed. I be needing somebody to keep it crazy real. Yeah. For real. Like, that's why I fuck with Shunkies. Because if I do something that she doesn't like, she gonna let me know right then and there. Has it always been like that? No. But. Oh, if I called you and said I got locked up, what do you think I would have probably been charged with? Ooh. Mmm. I think you would have been charged on some real, like, snap shit. Like, you know, like, went to a nigga house and, like, cut his fucking throat open. You got the blood smeared it all on the wall. I said because I keep shit in so much that I would just snap on somebody. Straight up. With a smile and on slit their throat open with... And I'll be smiling about it? No. Yeah, I think if I was like the... What would I be charged with? It's a lot of shit, but... Big one. Honestly? One. Anything to do with her family, she done fought something too many damn speeding tickets that she didn't pay for or go to court for probably that damn bitch you be right question for do opposites really attract <laughs> that's not really this type. i just asked the question you go uh, what was the question question y'all last question because i don't know what she we're got but i'm lit we're getting a little One lit it's the last though. question oh. I called you and said that he proposed. We're getting married tomorrow. We're gonna elope. Who would you think I was talking about? I don't know. It's been a minute since we had a man for real, for real. <laughs> it just be scared of your answer because it's so real. You can't say that. His best friend follow you. But it's how I feel. You caught him a cigarette. He's not a cigarette. Kia called me and said that somebody proposed and she was getting married tomorrow. His name would be Borrow. That was um, our conclusion of Wine Talk. Best friend just came on. How crazy. I'm the big old booty bitch from Texas. Of course, we thank you guys for watching. My little negative wisdom is read this book. It's called Self Love. It's really good. Okay, um, you know, as women, we just need a little self love. We need to remember you that bitch. So go get it. But that's my bestie, my bestie, my best friend. Go best friend. Nigga living CTG and everything. Mine is called Menage a Trois. And it's a Moscato. It's so good. And literally one glass, you'll be lit. Get it, please. We thank you guys for watching. And next week, we're going to have a male co-host.